Hello and welcome to the rear view. Today we're going to start our little debate off with uh, the subject of extreme Republicans. Mr. Kitty Face, what do you think about that? Mr. Kitty Face is an extreme liberal. And we're back to the, the rear view with uh, Well, you see, for those of us in, in of you in the audience, just joining us from your homes in which you're watching the TV. I'd like to explain the concept of the rear view to you. You see, I decided to make a show where people could have opinions and talk about their opinions. But people don't like that. So these are the people I chose. Opinions are irrelevant. Oh. My name is irrelevant, but you may call me Andrew. Andrew. And as we all know Mr. Kitty Face. This race of beings is quite strange. I will have to study them more, understand their strange ways. Probe. Probe. Quit probing Andrew. Hmm. Now, back to extreme Republicans. Come up on the couch, Mr. Kitty Face. As you can see, this baby is an extreme Republican. It's missing one eye because it only has one view, the wrong view. Uh, yes, it does. Does that constitute a joke? Probe, probe. Why do we have here? They're a race of silicon beings. This is joking. very strange. So what are your guys' thoughts on uh, extreme Republicans, like the baby? They, try, they taste quite well when served over fried rice. That's a little extreme. Is that your extreme view? Well, I'm just trying to blend in because my, I'm an alien named Bob. Do, do we saute him first? Or? The bipartisan view is irrelevant. Bart irrelevant. Part, part, part Asian? As, we, as you can see, Andrew is uh, prejudiced against Asian extreme Republicans. Prejudice is irrelevant. What is relevant, Andrew? Relevance is relevant. I respectfully disagree. And with the baby. That's Initialize it. probe. The baby needs to sleep, Mr. Kitty Face. Who has the catnip? Initialize death ray. <laughs> Where's my death ray? In your right pants. <laughs> Marsha. And it's over. <laughs> so much pain, it's funny. Channel your news, it's like a feeling. I'm smiling! <laughs> Are we recording? Channel your news, it's an improv news fil filming. Channel your news is to hacksaws. Channel <laughs> news is a comedic improv extravaganza. Channel news is recommended by the Surgeon General. One could use more vitamin C80. Satellite News is not a sport. Satellite News is a channel. I like to think of Satellite News as a river of cheese and cars. I fully endorse Channel 80 News and all its affiliates. Channel 80 News, it's high quality filming that the whole family can enjoy. Channel 80 News is definitely not a byproduct of Jello. Channel 80 News is an improv group that makes videos for fun in the format of a television network. Cut. Channel 80 News is not quite... Cut. Channel 80 News is not quite suitable for all family members or religions. Channel 80 News is guacarantastic. Channel 80 News is Y2K compatible. Channel 80 News is AVI compliant. Channel 80 News is NTSC format in Windows Media Player codec. Channel 80 News is my obsession. Channel 80 News is filmed on location live, so anything possible can happen at all, like trains, UFOs, and marshmallows. Channel 80 News wants you! Channel 80 News comes from a long line of historical things, including television and camcorders. Three, 
to Chandler the News. It's low budget. Chan Lady News is not porn. Bow chow wow. Chan Lady News will consume your soul. Chan Lady News is as not is as Nez. <laughs> <laughs> Lady it's unpredictable! It's not conforming as can be. Yeah. Channel 80 News. Who's the bitch now, Channel 8? Get off my straws. <laughs> Damn you. Channel 80 News. Armageddon never saw this coming. Channel 80 News did not hatch from a turtle egg. Channel 80 News is edible. Channel 80 News. With us, it's personal. Channel 80 News. John can call you sir. It hurts my soul! Channel 80 News is guac fantastic Chan- oh fuck, what was it? <laughs> I forgot! Channel 80 News, we validate parking. Just when you thought it was safe. To go to the bathroom. Challenge a train. To play in traffic. To pass without paying the toll. CAB.org. You can't escape. Forget my pencil. I mean pen. I never forget this pen. Oh wow, I hope we're not ready pen. Relationship. Is he your boyfriend? No, I haven't met him yet, but, but he is my soulmate. He just doesn't know him yet. Oh, that sounds rough. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, oh, what, what's the date? Uh, it's the 23rd, Zach. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah! The space battle was awesome. Oh my god. Yeah, don't tell the teacher. You might think we're like not good or something. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, Zach. He's cute 
enough, but he's no Alec. Who? Oh, you wouldn't know Alec. He's, well, I don't know. Well, everybody knows him. <laughs> I only know interesting people. Oh. Um, I only know people's souls. Good morning, everyone. Another small class I see. Well, we might as well begin with roll. Sarah Anderson. Is Sarah Anderson here? I've told you every single day of this class that my name is not Sarah. That is the name my parents gave me. I am Celeste. Yes. Write that down. All right, Miss Anderson. Alec Balderdash. Alec Balderdash, are you here? No, of course not. Probably driving your Porsche. Zach Bennett? Yes, me. Oh, oh, good to see you in class again. Thank you for your extra credit homework. Yeah, I yeah. know. Jason Dewan? Jason? No. Yes, he's not here either. Hmm. I see no one has an appreciation for education as they should. Well, except for you, Theodore, <laughs> yes. But we'll get to you in a moment. Hope Hillard. No Here. cell phones in class. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh. Poncho Pontus. Hmm. Darren Jackson, are you here? Yes. Not here. Ah, very funny. And Theodore. Actually, actually, he is here. Is there going to be a test on this? No, we'll be reviewing material from Chapter 5 today. So, if you'll get out your notes. And resist right. talking amongst yourselves as you usually do. Yes, Theodore. Uh, I took notes up to chapter seven. Shut up, yeah, geek. Know. Excuse me. Uh, okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> now, as you have read, when the Whitman forces are increasing in the planet's crust, they melt the surrounding bedrock. This, of course, rises and creates tonnenbonium, the lovely substance that the proletariat mine and use to subjugate the French. But when the chemical reaction reaches entropy, then, of course, it will melt back into the crust, and then a tsunami will come, and, of course, this completes the cycle. Now, yeah. now the French... Their political system is very dependent on tonnenbanium. You see at the top, you have the hierarchical figures, the crown, this is very interesting. and it's just other abysmalness from there, because then you have the bread makers, the poor, poor bread makers, who can't survive. What if the bread makers had a deflector ditch? Oh my god, that'd be so cool. But if you add the to it, then Why are you taking those wonderful how do you spell tonobonium? It's T O O N. Yeah, the tonobonium. Oh no, just one O. And then E. Do you guys realize that none of this has any purpose in life? Do you love it? Well, I'm not quite sure. But, um. But... And then when the rain mixes with the tonobonium, you have tonobonium injected chloride. Do you like my pen for texture? The soul is the only thing. Yeah, so I don't understand. God! And if you want to college, or become a captain. I'm not going to college. I'm going to be an artist, and I'm going to make way more money than you. And I'm going to start my own school where we learn things that are important in life. Well, well, it's great that you have ambition. I like. Creepy. Well, you know how like. Tomorrow's senior skip day, and people are people aren't gonna be here, you know. And um, oh, you guys know so skip. You know, you know Alec. You know Alec. Uh, oh, is that that rich guy? Yeah. He's already at the coast, and like I wanted to go, but he's already gone. So. I was wondering, um, are you doing anything tomorrow on senior skip day? Uh, well, I, I was. No, I'll go. I'll go with you. Could you? Do you have a car? Like. Yeah, you have a car, right? Could you drive? Because otherwise, I don't, I don't know how we're going to get there. Okay. Yeah, that okay. sounds like fun. Yeah, we'll go tomorrow, and we'll go and we'll, we'll meet Alec. And, and that is exactly how bread contributes to orphans 
And then when they are made as an offering to the dead, they repeat the structure by increasing the whipping pressures once more. I hope you've all enjoyed class. Now I'm going to go have a divorce, so you are all dismissed early. Remember, we have a closed campus rule, so just go to lunch. Oh man, that song totally sucks. You have to be such an emo loser to use any music like that. You just don't understand it. Hey, don't what? copy her paper. Hey, uh, Shalev, are you, are you doing some music good day? No, no. My friends and I have something more important to do. You don't want to go to the coast with us? Well, no. We're going to raise my cat from the dead. Oh. Way to go, way to go. I'm sorry. Oh, skip. That's good, that's good. Wait, well, no. You're... I'm going to skip. Why be here? We're going to raise my cat from the dead. Girl. Just when you thought it was safe to jump in your bedroom. <laughs> in fact, it was never safe. Okay, those cameras are. <laughs> we need to show your bloody face. Turn to the camera oh, and say, my goodness. Uh, he looks almost like you did on your hey, first Hey, that's actually how Rick looked like when he cut himself with his ears. Okay. Beware. Uh, uh, you you see, John, there was a piece of your scalp we found on the ceiling. Oh. I threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of his scalp. <laughs> Either way, I threw it away. Don't be too much. Oh wow, it's going. Hey, Kurt, uh, it Give me a towel, please, or like some a towel? stuff. Paper yeah, towel. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. I'm getting this up. It's a better angle. <laughs> You're not yeah, you should just take a shower. Yeah. I thought you were in the stall. <laughs> Head wound. Yeah. Head wounds. Just blood. Yeah. Would this be a bad time to ask if it knocks some sense into you? Oh, quite John. I don't think I've ever bled this much before. Oh, that's good. Does it hurt? No. It's like maybe if I had like a really slight bruise, but not not really hurt. I had to bleed a lot. Yeah, I know. Probably, well, probably I had to clean up. I'm working through my shirt uh, on my head without getting it all bloody. Seriously, got a nice picture. Oh. Uh-huh. Well, as long as, as, long as you wash it out. <laughs> Here, John, John, John. Oh, yeah, I see it. John, John. Don't, like, cry. No, John, I'm not. I just want to make sure. Brain surgery. Okay, hold on a second.